Hi, I'm Storm. And I'm Mike. And we're from Events Group. And what are we talking about today, Storm? Um, today we are talking about all these traffic cones. Yep. And um, maybe we'll start with these little ones here. Yep. Um, so what is the difference between these two? This one's got some kind of reflective tape or something on it. Yep. Um, so uh, both of these are a PVC material. Mm -hmm. Um, this one has a, a collar, this one, a reflective collar. This one doesn't. So this would be for daytime use ex uh, exclusively. This one would be for day or night time use. So you can choose whether you use it day or night because with the reflective collar, obviously it's going to reflect some of the car or whatever ambient light is in the area back mm -hmm. to you as a pedestrian or, you know, um, someone trying to navigate somewhere. Yep. Um, yep. What instances would you use these? Um, so these are really small. So I guess if you didn't have a lot of room in your vehicle, mm -hmm. you could use them. Um, if you, uh, wanted to use them in sports, you could use them. If you wanted to use them, say for, um, some sort of car training courses, we have people use them. Um, they don't have the same weighted base as others. So this is a hundred percent PVC from like the top to the bottom, you'll notice on some of these others, they have a weighted base. So this is rubber. Mm -hmm. So to keep the price down, um, it's got the different material for the base, which is more like a rubber. And then this other part is PVC. So when it's um, PVC, if we had to put like a heap of PVC at the bottom there, just make it more expensive. So that's why it's a um, two different types of materials. Mm -hmm. um, so we can actually sell these in, with a weighted base. Um, ex however, um, in front of us today, we don't have them with the weighted base, but it looks exactly the same except with the black base. Mm -hmm. yep. um, what's the height of these little ones? Uh, these are 300 mil. 300 mil? Yep. So. Um, and they're fine to be outside for a long time? Yep. yep. Um, the longer that something like this stays outside, um, the, you know, uh, the more it's going to degrade in the sun. Mm -hmm. So, um, these are particularly good for longevity in the sun and um, you can expect plenty of years to get out of them without them um, degrading too much or, or cracking or fading too much. Mm -hmm. um, there are other cheaper ones that you might find around that um, aren't as flexible and malleable um, that won't last as long. They have less UV inhibitor in them. They're not necessarily 100% PVC mm -hmm. um, and so... Those sorts of ones we don't try and stock or sell just because um, they don't last as long. Um, you, one thing you will notice though is um, in the in the in the winter they won't flex as much. In the summer they'll flex heaps more. Mm -hmm. So it depends on how hot they are, um, as to how much they flex, and how old they are. So they might get a little bit more stiffer over over the years. But um, you know when they're brand new, they're very malleable and flexible. If um, someone needed to buy multiple of these and they needed them for day and night, are they allowed to use these during the day yep. to save themselves from doubling up? Yep. Yep. Yeah, 100%. Yep. Yep. Yeah, a lot of people would do that. Yeah. Um, some people's organisations would um, uh, force them or mandate or regulate that they should have the day and night um, mm -hmm. regardless of whether they're doing night works. Um, just in case, especially um, in, you know, the more southern states like uh, Victoria and Tasmania um, in the winter, so the sun can sort of start um, getting pretty low light at 5 p.m. in the, mm. the midwinter. So, you know, some people will, will um, sort of say if they're out on the road and that they're, they're using the cones um, that they have to have day and night regardless. I might jump ahead of ourselves, but yep. if they needed to buy um, like lots of these, because they obviously get bought individually, is that yep. right? Yep. Um, can they get discounts for buying them in bulk? Yep. Mm -hmm. So um, there's two different sorts of discounts that you can get. Um, one type is a trade discount. The other type is bulk discounts. Um, uh, if you are a regular purchaser from Advanced Group, then you can apply for a trade discount. So you just have to contact our sales staff. Um, and if you qualify, they can set you up with a trade discount. That just means that um, when you log in with your email address that's registered for a discount, you'll see your price. Uh, the other way is on every product that we sell, uh, you will see that there's a button that says quantity discounts. And then when you click on that, 
button, uh, a table will pop up and it'll show you the, the prices for five plus, 10 plus, 30 plus, 50 plus, 100 plus. Um, and those discounts can, can compound. So uh, it'll be your price, your discounted price plus the bulk price discount. Mm -hmm. yep. do, do these sizes come in different colors or they were red? So yeah, we call this orange. Um, now, um, obviously we've got a few different colors here. We've got uh, green, yellow, blue, orange. Um, and so we've got some under here as well, which is sort of a you know green and the, the yellow over there. So, um, and then obviously reflective colors for all of them. Um, I think there's also white, which is a bit more rare. Um, there might be another, couple of colors I forget off the top of my head, but um, uh, the colored cones we normally charge more for because people buy them less. Mm. So the orange ones, we would sell the majority of probably 99 to one. Um, and they're much more economical just because uh, of the bulk quantities that we uh, s stock and sell of the orange ones compared to the colored ones. Yeah. Um, the colored ones are probably used more in mines. Um, so if you have a mine site, you might have different areas with different colors and um, it's useful to communicate to the staff um, which areas, which because of the color, color schemes. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably a lot of the reason why we have the different colors. Yeah. Um, it's, it's rare that other people in other industries want the, the other colors. Yeah, these are usually the standard. Orange is normally standard. Yeah. 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 Is there anything else we need to know about these little ones? No, we talked about the different bases mm -hmm. and the reflective colors and the material. And the so, uh, and it's 300 mil tall. Yep. yep. All right, we'll so get, we'll get rid of those. Uh, the next ones we'll talk about are these ones. What do you want to know about these? Um, well, how high are these ones? Okay, so these are 450 mil tall. Yep. These are the most common um cone that we sell we probably outsell every other cone combined you know for a factor of sort of maybe three four five times uh, more of these size than the other sizes um so whenever some someone says oh can i have a traffic cone uh, we'd normally assume it's this size mm. um <clears throat> now um obviously you can get other sizes if you need them uh, but if someone's just assuming that there's mainly one size, this is, this is the size that we would assume that they're, they're after. Yep. So yep. they've got the hard base on them to obviously Yeah, they've got the form. solid, more heavy uh, rubber base. You can still get them in 100% PVC without the black rubber base, except it's more rare and we don't necessarily always stock it. Mm -hmm. So if you did need these with 100% PVC, we can still do that. Um, we, I think we call it a classic cone. Um, so... But um, mostly we sell these with the heavier black base um, for good reasons and mostly that is so it doesn't blow over in the wind, uh, especially if you're, you know, doing things like um, works on the sides of the road or something like that. You don't really want things blowing over. Mm -hmm. yep. Do they hold the same purposes as the smaller ones? Um, so this one we typically see on any, any job site that's mm -hmm. maybe like civil works or something like that that's... Um, um, you know, cordoning off or warning people about like, you know, minor hazards and things mm -hmm. like that. Yep. And um, again, the colour one's more for like mining areas yep. and stuff. Yep. 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 So, and then reflective and non-reflective. So you can choose. Yep. yep. So that's, that's pretty much sums up pretty those Pretty much ones. all to do, that we can talk about those. Yep. 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 With those. Uh, talk about maybe these ones. So... Mm -hmm. It's not a lot to sort of discuss about these types of ones. So, you know, we've got green, blue, orange, 750 mil tall. Mm -hmm. um, I guess if you needed something that's just slightly taller, uh, you would use these sorts of ones, a little bit heavier. Um, so, um, yeah, it's yeah a lot less common than the 450s. Mm -hmm. um, but if you really needed a... Seven, I can't remember, 700 or 750. It's supposed to be 700 mil tall cone. Mm -hmm. Then um, obviously this is what you would use. It comes in, in all the colors of those other ones that I mentioned, like um, orange and white and I forget what other colors, uh, yellow and green. Yeah. Um, reflective or non-reflective. 
Um, reflective are a fair bit more expensive, obviously. Um, just the material itself is uh, very expensive. Um, 3M mostly makes the reflective that we use for the collars and it's just uh, incredibly expensive. So mm -hmm. sometimes it can double the price, but um, that's probably all we need to say Have about those. Have you seen the yellow ones used in anything other than the mining areas? Like Not really. No? No. Um, some people just have a preference and they just want it for yeah. whatever reason. Sometimes they don't want theirs getting mixed up with others. So mm -hmm. to save people running off with their cones, they'll have a different colour just, yeah. <laughs> just so that they um, can tell which ones are theirs on a job site. Mm -hmm. So um, that could be a reason why you might want to do it, but that's, you know, sometimes twice as expensive. So, yeah, I don't know if you would necessarily want. Is this the same height? That's the same height These in the two? orange. Yep. 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 Yeah, so, so they're the they're the common most common colours. Yep, yep, reflective and non. And yep. so we've talked about the yellow one. Yep. Uh, what size is this big red one here? Uh, so we'll call this an orange. Orange, sorry. Um, so uh, this is nine hundred mil tall. Mm -hmm. uh, this one would be very popular for putting a cone bar, which um, we sell separately. Mm -hmm. uh, we could probably put a photo up of it up on our website. Um, you could use a cone bar on this height, but people are more likely to step over it mm. if they're sort of absent mindedly walking along looking at their phone. Um, so uh, for cone bars, we would normally use something this size. Um, you can use a cone bar with a T-top bollard, which um, we'll do T-top bollards in a different video. Um, but um, a meter is probably the best height to have sort of a um, pedestrian barrier at so that people don't uh, tempted to step over it um, and um, yeah I've personally found a lot of other people in the public stepping over my cone bars when they're too low mm. um, or even myself I, I did it think once where I absentmindedly on the phone um, stepped over someone's barrier mesh which I thought was ironic right, mm. being a, um, working in a safety shop but um, also 900 mil is uh, the regulation height for people at work in um, at service stations and in the petrochemical industries. So, uh, you know, when people are doing maintenance on the Bowser pumps at the service stations, um, they would be mandated to have this, I think, normally with a reflective collar though. Um, so, yeah, we do sell a lot of them to um, people who work on Bowser pumps. So, um, Is there anything else that can attach to them for any reason? Oh, yeah, there's plenty of um, things that you can attach to them. You can, um, we have a whole um, heap of uh, things, mostly the pilot system, which the pilot system is a, um, a whole ecosystem of things you can attach to cones, including um, retractable barrier tapes, um, sort of economy type ones, um, lights. Uh, so you can get little different flushing LED lights. Um, what else would they potentially attach to it? Um, I'd have to think about what else that they might attach to it. But um, um, yeah, typically the most common things might be retractable tapes and um, lights and um, cone bars, I think. Mm. Yeah. So you can use these to kind of block off areas as well with, along with the retractable tape. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the cone bars, which are an uh, extendable bar, we can put the photos up and the tapes maybe as well. Mm -hmm. And the lights, you can we can put some pictures up so they can see the different things that you can do with it. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if sometimes there might be a, a little um, A4 sort of mm -hmm. notice sign. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we'll put up whatever images if we have to. That's probably about it. Mm -hmm. So if you want to buy any of these cones, um, obviously we'll put these this video against all the different ones that we sell. Um, you can go to www.advancegroup.com.au. And if you like the video, you want to see more videos like this, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks, bye. Bye.